This video is about how to use the CRM dashboard. To start, we're going to go to dashboard.asu.edu and you'll come to this page, which is the dashboard home. In order to see any of the dashboards, they are authenticated by your ASU Write ID, and in order to get that, you do need to request access. There's a link down here that says request access um, um, in order to get there. So there are instructions here, and then up on the black bar, it says request access. When you request access, you're going to have to ask for which dashboards that you need access to, and those are all listed over here. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the CRM support dashboard. CRM is Customer Relation Management. This dashboard shows you all of the CRM cases that, have, um, that we're tracking currently and their status. You can go into any one of these different areas and drill down into the cases that apply to you. There's a couple of different underlying concepts that you need to know in order to understand the dashboard here. One of them is priority. We have three different priorities for our CRM cases. One of them is standard priority, and that means that the ticket should be resolved within seven days. Urgent means that it will be resolved within two business days, and critical means that it will be resolved within one business day or as soon as possible. So you can go and drill down into the CRM cases by just clicking on this, and we'll go in and we'll be able to see the cases and their ages. At this point, you can go in and you can take a look at any one of these and see what the case is about by clicking on the number. And then if you have CRM access, you can actually go into the case and see what it is. Go back to the summary page. Another concept that you need to know about is provider groups. In UTO and in many, many different business groups, we have groups of people who provide service, and they are called provider groups. And so you can go into um, this section and drill down in and see the different provider groups and what tickets are open to them. The nice thing about this page is that you can see the provider groups with the most cases, the closed cases, most assigned cases. If you click on the provider group description, you'll see a list of the names of the people in the provider group. Pull that down into the recording here. So you can see who's actually in the provider group. That's very good. You can actually go into the counts for those provider groups, and you can see the list of cases. And then again, if you have access to CRM and the case load there, you can go in and actually take a look at the different cases that are there by clicking on one of these. And you'll go in and actually see the details on those cases, so you can take a look at that. You can also come up here and change at any time um, the way that you search for um, <coughs> the way that you search through the cases. Let's go back to summary and we'll talk about the next concept. You can see the open cases by business unit. Notice here that you see um, several different business units. Here you see UTO, here's HR, here's WB Carry, and then this is the second UTO um, business group. Uh, provider groups are are grouped within business units, and the provider groups within a business unit can easily share cases back and forth and transfer cases back and forth. Um, and so each business unit is the next level up in the hierarchy of how CRM cases are um, organized. So you can click on that just like you can on any other piece of it and go in and you can see which cases are assigned to which business unit, standard, critical, total, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can go through and see, <coughs> see where they are and drill down in, just like you did before. You can also see the cases by source and drill down in that way. You can see CRM case activity as well. And all of those links are also available over here. If you're currently using CRM um, yourself and you're taking care of cases, then you can also go look at just your cases. So the CRM dashboard is a very quick and easy way to drill all the way down into the very minute details about any of the CRM cases that affect you or your group, and you can see how they're doing at any time just by clicking from the summary page into any of these areas and then clicking down through the red links in to see more about each of those um, sets of cases. And that's all there is to using the CRM support.